Have a look at this, guys. That beautiful whale skeleton. These are all pieces of from each piece of trash was uh, found in the ocean. I think this is a really good way to get people to understand the effects of trash on our environment. By the way, welcome to the vlog. As you notice, I'm wearing my Sydney Crosby Penguins jersey. Let's go have a look. I'm at Bay World. Let's go wait until see when we go in. First things first, I'm gonna highlight. Have a look at these dioramas here. These look so, yeah, they don't look that real, but this is all the snakes that are native here to Port Elizabeth, South Africa. The boom sling, the tiger snakes, you got the two alapids, the pilot non venomous snakes, you got the alapids, you got the viper. I'm not sure if the gaboon viper is native here, but it's a beautiful snake. Hopefully, this, hopefully these guys have one. Just have a look at that monkey there. This is a Russian rat snake. These are from a snake you hardly see. Like they're kind of rare in the US and I think it's cool that they have them here in South Africa. These are from like Asia, pretty big rat snake. And over here, they've got, the, these are black rat snakes. You guys remember that the rusty black rat snake I highlighted at Repticon. That's actually a codom mutation. I thought it was a recessive, but it's happened to be codom. When you read the rusty to rusty, you get the leucistic. And these are found back where I live in Maryland and eventually hope and I hope, I'll see these back in, the, in Michigan as well. These are some beauty. Have a look at its head. Ooh, doggy. It's a beautiful snake. A few more snakes. Snake that we saw. Mole snake. Yeah. Have a look at that mole snake. It's a beautiful black color. Believe it or not, we saw a wild mole snake on a hike here in South Africa. I'll put a look, send you guys a picture of it. Looks like it's a little bit like that from there. But believe it or not, mole snakes are called mole snakes because they can really burrow well. They're non venomous, but they do give a painful bite. They can really do a little bit of damage. But let's have a look here. We got a bunch of these are, this is an albino corn snake, and that looks like a crimson corn. Albino is recessive, and I think the crimson is also recessive, or it could be polygenic. I'm not 100% sure. I gotta look it up again. But these are found also where I live in Maryland, the southeastern part of the United States. But very common snake in Florida. Just have a look at how beautiful they are. And over here, they have another one of my favorite colubrids. These are these are. Uh, Cal kings, you guys know by much I love king snakes. These are found all the way from California. These love to eat rattlesnakes. Look at how beautiful those bandings are. These are also polymorphic, believe it or not. You get striped, and you get a bunch of paint jobs from like albino, the polygenic chocolate banana, and a bunch, bunch more. But these are downright beautiful. Ooh. Have a look at this replica alligator. You know how much I love alligators. I hope they have a live one. You guys know Barchek has RJ. He's got salt and pepper. And he's also got <clears throat> a bunch of other animals, which are kind of cool. That's a beautiful, I just hope to see some live gators here in South Africa. Have a look at that monkey. I'm from Maryland, as you may know, I live in Maryland. That is a diamondback terrapin. Oh, that's two of them actually, and you can see that one. These are found in Oh, these are actually from South Africa, I don't know. But these are saltwater terrapins. These can take a little bit of salt water. I think these are the turtles I saw yesterday on that uh, safari when we were walking, there, walking around there. Those beautiful areas. These are some beautiful turtles. Have a look at that chunky monkey. Another leopard tortoise. We saw a bunch of these yesterday on our safari. Just have a look at him. Snow cruising there. Have a look at these chunky monkeys here. Nile crocs. Believe it or not, they actually found some of these in Florida. They found a bunch of these in Florida. And of course, you know, Robbie Kezzy has a bunch. There are a bunch. At, I'm gonna put a link in the description to see a really cool video from Gatorland with the Nile Crocodile with one of the keepers. Savannah, I'm gonna put a link in the Gatorland's vlog, show them some love. Have a look at these two. These are found all over South Africa. Another common lizard, another common crocodilian here on the continent of Africa. These are man eaters, sadly, but they are such amazing animals. Can't wait. Now have a look at these. Hopefully, I can see three. these guys are out. Have a look, we're gonna find out. A little gecko, dun dun dun. Oh, I don't see any. Looks like I don't see the girdle lizard. Bummer. Yeah, it's a rarer slider, common turtle. But believe it or not, these are invasive species all over the world because people buy them impulsively. Because when you see a baby alligator, a baby turtle, they are just so damn cute. But they get this big quickly. You need a lot of space. But these. He came, I'm sure this thing animal is rescued. So guys, if you want a turtle like that, you gotta do a lot of homework. It's for an advanced keeper. Let's have a look, and have a look here. We've got another snapping turtle. Ooh, he's got a bit of an impact. Have a look at his dent there. There's another one back there. 
My dad just found something. Let's have a look. See if I can find him. Dun, dun, dun. If you guys are having a good day, let me know. Try to leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys are how you guys are doing. See this one. Oh, there he is. That's the what? You can see that over there, guys. Have a look at him. That's a house gecko. Oh, these are very common. These are invasive species, believe it or not. Or I don't think that's the turtle. That's actually the girdle blizzard, which is kind of cool. It's a snake you don't see that often. You know how much I love monitors. You guys remember I highlighted those blue tree monitors at Repticon? Have a look at this chunky monkey here. That's a rock monitor that's common here in South Africa. These things get about that big, slightly bigger. They are wonderful animals. They can be pretty damn, pretty tame too. And have a look at that monkey over there in the wall there. That is. The difference between the two. That's a Nile monitor. That's a big one. They get much bigger. Those are more aquatic than the, than the rock monitor who are getting moving. These are also invasive in Florida, believe it or not. Because, because of, this is one thing I always want to highlight. Is Nile monitors are for people who are advanced keepers. If you ever have to get rid of them, never release them into the wild. But in Florida, they're caused by pet dealers who intentionally, didn't intentionally release them, but were poorly housed. And a bunch escaped at a time. That's why they're now a the population there. But have a look at how beautiful they are. As you may know, Brian Barczyk has Chicken Strip, the Albino Nile, as well as Abasuku, the Night Nile. I can't wait for those two to breed together. I can't wait to see what an Albino Night Nile is going to look like. Ooh, dog, yeah, it's gonna look amazing. Another one of my favorite big snakes is a yellow anaconda. These don't get as big as the green anaconda, but they are literally a little bit smaller. Still a nasty, big, also for an advanced snake. You guys remember Ben Rennick had the patternless yellow anacondas before he sadly was shot and killed in his facility. But Ben Rennick, oh, there are a bunch more granite yellow anacondas as well as patternless yellow anacondas. And in the UK they've got exantic yellows. Those look amazing. These really cool, downright cool on their own self. In their own self. Have a look at them. Have a look at this chunky monkey here. This is a Burmese python. You guys know I used to have a Burmese python. We even not that we had to get rid of, sadly. The big boy. He's got almost full grown, pretty much. Now this is the snake that's terrorizing the Everglades. Well, they are terrorizing the people, but not Brasiani. Believe that they're really exaggerated. But don't get me wrong. One of my biggest pet peeves in reptile ownership is impulse buying. <coughs> you want to burn. <coughs> Sorry about that. If you want a Burmese python or any big snake, however, you've got to do your homework. These the people have released these, but that's not what started the Burmese python population in Florida, believe it or not. What started the Burmese python population in Florida was a mass injection during Hurricane Andrew. They had about 900 baby Burmese pythons getting ready for the pet trade. A mass injection of 900. Now those hatchlings can adapt better. I just look how beautiful these are. I wish I can't wait to get another berm of my own. Bob Clark, if you're watching this. Save me some pies, save me, save me a bunch of worms. Reader size would be great. Whatever you got for me, it'd be great. Thanks, Bob. Have a look at that little monkey. It's a monkey. It's a, a, a armadillo, gold, a armadillo gold, girdle lizard. I'm going to try to say that. There's another one over there. The reason why these are called armadillo lizards is because when, they, when a predator comes to attack them, they, they would bite their tail and that's hard armor protect them from predators. And have a look at this monkey here. This is a bird adder, a very rare venomous snake here in South Africa. They're a bunch in the US collections, but they're pretty expensive and I can't wait. These, cool, he's coming towards the camera. I think he's keyed on the camera, so I'm not gonna mess with him too much. And have a look, see what we got down here. Nothing. Let's see this guy here. Yeah, nothing there. Have a look at that, guys. You guys can see him well, but that's a black mamba. That is the snake, the fastest snake in the world. And the venomous snake, oh, sorry about that guys. I'm moving around a little bit. That is the snake I have the utmost respect for. That in the Inland Taipan. It was a very difficult snake to handle. Uh, very common fatality rate, very high, sadly. But so these are why they, even though they're not called black mambas, it's not because of this color of their, it's not because of their, they're black. When they open their mouth as a defense mechanism, their mouth is black, that displays a threat, much like a rattlesnake. That's not, a, no, he's not trying to, he's trying to warn us. Like he's not, he doesn't want to bite us. He's just saying, go away or I will bite you. But have a look at how beautiful he is. The green mamba. And here, 
is the green. Oh shit. You guys may have remembered from Ralph's place. Here's a green mamba. This happens to be my favorite venomous snake. I have it's such a beautiful green color. Look at how beautiful the green is. These are tree dwelling creatures and oftentimes not as aggressive as the black mamba, but still deadly enough to kill a man. But these guys, <coughs> tree dwellers, they love birds. They really, of course, all snakes really will try to avoid themselves. These snakes, guys, I'm gonna put a link for Dingo Dinkelman's channel, his recent video, of how easy it is to handle a wild black green mamba compared to a black mamba. Much easier. And have a look at this chunky monkey here. That's a puff adder, another common venomous snake here in South Africa. This snake is responsible for more bites than any other snake because they're so well camouflaged, people don't see them. But, I believe it or not, Rolf Dennison, not Rolf, Warren Klein from Bushrock Reptiles, who's moved to Rhode Island, has scaleless puff adders. I'm gonna put a link there where you can see them down below, show them some love. And have a look at how beautiful he is. Just a beauty of the See there's a better view of him. See that? Oops. Beautiful snake. I love puff adders. And of course, every time I see a bow constrictor, I get excited. Which I love bow constrictors. You guys know, I'm a good friend. I Pete Cole. Pretty but albino bows, the IMG, those cool bows. Bring back that nostalgic moment when I was just a kid when I got my first bow constrictor. Ooh, dog, yeah, I love bow constrictors. And have a look at these. This small little ball python over there. You can see remember that big ball python. And what do we got here? You know, is this run calls here? I'm assuming. Nope, that's not him. Have a look at the spectacle Cape Cobra. Cobra. Hemotoxic venom is some filthy venom. You guys know I love Cape Cobras. You know Cobra venom. Oops. Goof, goof, goof. Okay, we'll get this again. Have a look at there, guys. That's a Cape Cobra. Very common snake here in Port Elizabeth. You get the yellow, speckled, and a bunch of other pattern varieties. They are beautiful venomous snakes. Hemotoxic destroys the nervous system. It's very deadly. But to be honest, they really try to avoid people as much as possible. If you see a snake, just leave it alone. You don't know what it is. Let's say, for example, you do get bitten. Your medical bill is going to be high. But have a look at how beautiful that Cape Cobra is. And believe it or not, Cape Cobra venom is used in pain kills, in pain medication research. As I say that, cool animals. Have a look at these chunky monkeys here. The rock, you got a bow constrictor there. You got a bunch of bow constrictors. A diamond, a pure carpet python over there. I'm not sure what kind of that is. I don't know. What kind of carpet? That looks like another carpet python. How much I love carpet pythons. And here we've got, have a look at that re that retic there. You know how much I love retics. You guys remember I highlighted those retics from Reptiles for Centuries and from Repticon. This is what a normal retic looks like. These are the longest snake in the world, but the heavy bodies. These get up. The biggest one on record is 33 feet, almost 10 meters. That's pretty damn cool. And, but uh, by all means, no, it can be a danger to humans, but as long as you just give them the respect in their space, they'll be fine. And I forgot to mention, right in that log there, I don't know if you can see it, that's a burnt another berm. You guys know I love berms, retics, love them all. Sure enough, that's a Cuban boa. But, mm, these are added to the one this uh, you're not allowed to breed those across state lines, which I think is unfair, but they are beautiful snakes. These are from the island of Cuba, of course, but Epicrits are much like the Jamaican boa, rainbow boas, same genus, but they are just beautiful. Have a look at him. I think, I think you should, I wonder if you are allowed to still breed them across state lines. I wonder if that's gotten changed yet. Hopefully, we can start getting these soon. Uh, that's enough reptiles. Let's go have a look at some awesome fish. Have a look at that cute little monkey before I go over the reptile, the aquariums. That's the hinge tortoise, very common in northern South Africa. Just have a look at how beautiful he is. He's about as big as he gets. Very small tortoise, but it's still for an advanced keeper. But they are just damn incredible. It's supposed to be a box turtle here. I don't know where he is at. But just have a look at how cute he is. Fortunately, the aquarium's closed, but I'm going to highlight these beautiful seals. We've got Lucky and Lexi. Cool names. Have a look at them. These, believe it or not, I saw a bunch of seals when I set sail to Nova Scotia. Believe it or not. Have a look at how beautiful. Ooh, they're cute monkeys though. Okay, these things are so aquatic. And of course, wearing my Pittsburgh Penguins jersey. I, I cannot come here, wear my jersey, and not highlight some penguins. Have a look at them right up there. 
Honestly, let me know what your favorite hockey team is. You're a Penguins fan or you're a Capitals fan. If you're a Capitals fan, <laughs> gross, no offense. But just have a look at these Penguins. These are Penguins found here in South Africa, believe it or not. But then we've got the salt marsh over here. Don't know what that was in here. It was like crap. Look at these cute monkeys here. Believe it or not, Brian Barcheck is good friends with a hockey player. All your Sharks fans, Brent Burns. Burns gets to go play with penguins like this at the Columbus Zoo, which I think is so cool. They are so adorable. Crosby, Malkin. The name Crosby, Malkin, Latang. Oh, got, got another something else over there. I don't know what that is. See if you can see it over there. Uh, ooh, doggy. So, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Have an amazing weekend, week, whenever you have to be watching. Make sure you smash that like button. Have a enjoy the rest of your day. God bless. Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a little bit of extra for today. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't even notice. Let's have a look. I don't think I can see them. These are sea turtles, leatherback sea turtles. As you may know, I'm gonna take my backpack off really quick. As you may know, I love Hawaiian islands. Let me see if I can take it off right here. I got this Hawaiian turtle here on my chest. Similar to that. Underneath. Believe it or not, my dream is to retire in Hawaii. Now, these are native here around South Africa. That one came in as a rescue. Was missing both of these back. Had a stumpy back leg and missing the other. But <clears throat> these guys live a hundred plus years. That's amazing. I think that's just the coolest thing here. It's a little extra. Yay, B. Have an amazing weekend whenever you happen to be watching. God bless.